Hey, this is Digital Byte Computing. We're gonna look at iOS 11 and the new Photos app. So the Photos app has some great new features around the live photos. We can change and customize some stuff. Let's log into the phone right now and see how it works. All right, so from iOS 11, you've got a great new bunch of features under the Photos app. So we're gonna go ahead and open up the Photos app on the top right corner. And I'm presented with all of my photos. Now, if you've got one of the newer devices, you can do live photos where you're essentially um, opening up a photo. So let's just open up this photo here. And I can force on my screen and you'll see a slight video of a few, you know, a few milliseconds before and after my photo. So essentially it becomes like a little video or essentially a live photo. You can see on the top right corner, it says live. The great feature about iOS 11 is you can now go ahead and actually customize your live photos. Top right corner is edit. Straight from here, I can actually change my keynote photo, my actual key photo, All right? So I've got literally so many photos in this particular live video. Sometimes maybe the photo that you took isn't the one that you want to use. Perhaps it's the last one. So I can now select that, click on make key photo, and that is now my key photo. So when I go to done, you'll see that now my photo is the one that I've just selected just there. So that is now my key photo in my photos library. I can go ahead in again and just move it to wherever else I need it to go. I can also turn off live photos by clicking on the live on the top right, and that'll turn it off. I can also mute the audio of my live photo by clicking on the mute button just there, okay? So the other great option is that you can actually now customize your live photos. So I've got a photo here open, I can scroll up, and by default it's gonna be set to live. So live is literally just the, the little video clip playing from the start to the end. You'll now see there are a few different options, loop, bounce, and long exposure. Loop, as the name suggests, is just gonna loop that video over and over from the start to the end and then start it over again. Nice thing if you want that to be your new key photo. I can also click on bounce. So it's gonna go front to the back and then sort of do it in reverse, right? And then you got your long exposure where essentially it's just all of your videos just brought in and done a long exposure on your photo. So I personally like the bounce one. I think the bounce one's pretty cool. So I'm gonna select my bounce photo here, and that is now my photo. So I open that up, it's gonna to start to play that straight away in that small video, straight from your photos application. So that is the new photos and changing of live things in iOS 11. So if you found that video helpful, please like it and subscribe to my channel, Digital by Computing, just on the button there for more videos.